<sighs> Welcome back, Zero K fans. Denan lives the done. This is Shadow Free 63. Once again, your host. Sorry about this slight delay. So this is the last match. It's going to be Shaman and Icons versus each other on Ravaged. And this just start this up. So Ravaged is a map which you should be familiar with because I cast it all the time. Really good map. Very cluster oriented. It is a StarCraft map. I believe it's on like caverns. Because, as far as I'm aware, that map is no longer in the Legacy of the Void ladder pool, so I haven't actually played it. Ever. I actually come to think of it. Yeah. So... Star... So, anyway. StarCraft map, which is converted to 0k, works really well in it. Icons going for Shield Bot Factory, Shaman going for Jump Bot Factory, which... Not seeing them actually use any Jump Bots. Well, jumping units. Puppies do not jump. Hmm. Anyway. So Shaman is in a, I'd say, pretty solid starting position. Got their two metal, got their... bit weaker than Icons right now. Icons a bit more focused on metal, less focused on energy. If Shaman trying to make sure they have enough energy to start out with. Now, given that Shaman's going for jump bots, Icons needs to be really cautious about the north side of their base. And also the southeast side of their base. Like, this and this are two really common entry points for jump bots. Why would they take the ramp? There's no need. They don't have to. So instead, they'll be taking... This area here, if they can get away with it, or the north, if they can't. And it looks like Icon's setting up that Lotus, which will be handy. It looks like the Pyro is going to be going towards the north side. And the Lotus is in place to deal with that. So Icon's should be okay when that Pyro comes in. Although, is it going to come into the north side? It, I would imagine it would. But it looks like I'm... Okay, there we go. Yep, there we go. Now it's going to the north side. Icons moving their commander up front. The commander not morphed. Yes, that pyro might get a free shot in there. But it's been spotted. Icons well aware this pyro is coming in here. Shaman not able to get away with it as well as they would like to. Shaman in the main base not really doing too much. Not building a whole lot at this point. Just this one pyro is their main army. Another pyro coming in later on, but this is not working out anywhere near as well as I'm sure they would have wanted it to. And they are expanding at the same time, so they're not completely dead in the water at this point. But still, it's not what they'd like, I'm sure. That's better. That's so much better. Sorry, that's not as mo it's not what they'd like. But it is still what it is. So they're kind of still kind of stuck with it. Because that's one of the things about playing Jump Bot. And as mentioned before, several like a week or two ago, I was talking about how... The Cloakie Bot Factory isn't really played very much, and I suspected it was because of the Cloakie versus Jump Bot matchup. Has Jump Bot has become really popular recently, and I stand by that. I'm pretty sure it's still that. Like that matchup is still a tricky matchup to deal with. But I think that is the reason why we aren't really seeing a whole lot of Cloakie Bot usage, because these bandits are really commanding a lot of respect from Shaman. Although Shaman at this point does have a pr strong enough economy, they can just move up straight onto Jax. Don't have to worry too much about the Pyros. But at this point. I don't know. Icons has a great timing right now. Icons attacks right now. Like, at this exact moment, they have an awesome time. There's nothing here. This is such a perfect timing. And these pyros can't do much. One of them's already going to go down. Over the southeast corner, I have another one to block off expansions. I mean, Shaman is being really, really risky with this. Just about to get a Lotus up, but even that won't be too much to deal with. Icons really should have moved these bandits here so sooner. Oops. Those bandits really should have been moved in sooner, though. There was no reason for them to have been hanging out where they were. I think Icons might have just not been really paying as much attention as they needed to be. But yeah, that was a situation where bandits needed to move fast. Because now, Shaman has enough defensive forces that these bandits can't as easily get around. They basically, that would have been all of these metal extractors gone, and the Lotus. Now, not as strongly, but these bandits could still deal a fair amount of damage. And over here, got rid of the Pyro to the southeast, and this expansion here, I don't think Icons is aware of it. No, they have no reason to be aware of that. Although they are seeing a Pyro come in, that's suspicious. Not sure if they're going to look at this particular cluster to figure out if there has been an expansion, which there has been. And nice, pulling it into the Lotus, and that will probably kill it. Now the loss of only one, one Pyro for one band, that's a pretty good trade. Now this trade over here is not great, there's, yeah, 200 metal. A lot of that being the Pyro, but even if you discount that, that's still... Those bandits, twice that Pyro in metal. 
And Icons acting on their instinct, they do get this expansion basically for free, too. They're gonna lose a couple bandits in the process due to that Lotus. Not paying attention, though. Pay attention, Icons. You gotta. That's the thing. This. You gotta pay attention and be able to multitask in this game. Like, especially in this map, but just this game in general. Always, always, always remember you have to multitask. Doesn't matter what sort of UI stuff you put in here, there's always gonna be decisions you have to make across several points in the map. One of them being making energy, but yeah. I guess that... Oh, actually, well, that's kind of... The widget is more pointing out the fact that the wind generators are not producing. But yeah, like... Over in the north and over the east, two situations where Icons could have easily taken these expansions out if they had attacked sooner or been paying more attention. Hitting this. And then going from there. Yeah, at this point, the bandits are still probably a pretty decent choice. I mean, the other option would, of course, be going for... I don't know, Thug Outlaw Ball is not really an option. So yeah, bandits are just fine. The moderators can't kill the bandits that quickly. So just flooding with bandits. Like, get another caretaker, another... Yeah, get a caretaker here. Get more helping out here. Lots more. Ooh, Dirtbag's nice too. That'll block off moderator shots. Yeah, that would be really handy. I don't know why that's not being done. And Shaman, once again, being attacked on the north side while attacking over to the south side. So this isn't working too well for them, I'm afraid, but that's still not terrible. Whereas this attack over the north is going to be considerably more successful than the last time. There are enough bandits here. If Ikens is paying attention and actually takes care of this Lotus here, and they're going for it, Mitre is going to cause problems, though. Like, move all the... Why are you... Okay, they're not paying attention to that at all. Like, I don't know what they're paying attention to right now. Okay, now they're paying attention to it, but they weren't for a while. Like, you gotta be clicking on the minimap and jumping around as you need to in order to pay attention to what's going on. Because there's a lot of stuff going on here. And this miter is getting free shots on those bandits. It's gonna take on another one right away. Right now. There we go. And the last one will be going down in a second. Those bandits are not being attended to. However, Ikens is still ahead economically. Shaman going in for a bit of a blast wing attack, trying to deal some extra damage. Probably will be able to get rid of some of these wind generators, but that's... Oh, there's a lot there. There is a fair amount there, and Icons, despite their larger economy, still hasn't translated that into production. Just now getting the caretakers they needed, and they needed those caretakers a while ago, and they need more energy. They Like, wind generators or not, they need more energy, no, more solar plants. Especially down in the lower ground. Like, spread it out, because these blast wings are going to be absolutely terrifying. I mean, at this point, Icons is not... Okay, they're, they're aware of them. They are aware of the blast wings. They haven't done anything about it, but they're aware of them. Or they should be. It's on the map. And that's the blast wing attack. Not as powerful as it used to be, but still very scary. At least the defenders can do something about it, but that, that's terrifying. I mean, the amount of damage that was able to deal. And Shaman now being able to get rid of his entire army with the blast wings. All about to go down. All but one bandit going down to those blast wings from... That was a massive army. Can't even see it right now, but that was like a dozen and a half bandits and a dirtbag. One bandit survives. And it's going to be plagued with crippling survivor skill for the rest of its life. Granted, its life will likely be quite brief, but it'll be hell on earth for that time. Yeah, Defender's finally getting built up, but that's not even enough. Honestly, I think this many Defender's just not enough of them. Because, like, one defender gets rid of three bandit or one wind generator. But yeah, gets rid of, like, three bandits. Sorry, three blast wings. And then has to wait for, like, 15 seconds to recharge. However, it looks like finally the bandits are going to get some raiding gun. Finally, finally this, this expansion getting rid of... Getting gotten rid of on the eastern side. But even then, one metal extract remains. But at least... At least the important thing was... The worker was destroyed. So the expansion can't trivially be rebuilt. These blast wings are a real thorn in the side. That's all Shaman's building right now, is blast wings. They've all been building for the last little while. Vinderkinder coming in, looks like it's going in for a jack drop. And that jack coming in here, Vindicator's not going to last too long, but the important thing is that it opened things up. These defenders now, and Icons losing their commander, these defenders, what's left of them, 
losing all their missiles on the Vindicator and on the Jax. The Blastwings have free reign. Ikens is going to just lose from here. I think... Like, one of the things... I would almost say put a Stardust at the edge right here. Just to catch out the Blastwings as they come in. I think that'll work. If not, then maybe Hacksaw. Like, something that homes in, hits quickly... But yeah, Iken's throwing the towel, just because that was a lot of Blastwing coming in. Like, dealing with that much Blastwing is really tough. Normally that's an open game thing. And I think a large part of it is... I mean, the, the idea behind the fire was actually to make this sort of thing possible. So it wasn't just, you either do it at the start when your opponent has no counters, or never. Like, it's a bit more even. It deals not as much damage. But it still deals enough damage that it's worth building. Although, honestly, I think in the old Blastwing system, that Shaman would have done this exact same thing. I think it would have gone the exact same way. But I do like the way the new Blastwings are. They're, they're kind of more reliable. Just setting things up. Just burning everything rather than having that weird shrapnel explosion. Yeah, that's... That was that. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was... I really feel bad for Ragnarok. Like, that was a lot of that was missed micro raids. There was a lot of damage that could have been dealt. If those bandits had destroyed this Lotus and destroyed that the rest of the metal extractors, they might have been able to deal some damage to the main base. Or at the very least, kept Shaman contained so they couldn't really do much. But unfortunately, they never really managed to do that because Shaman just had enough defenses and Icons never really microed. So yeah, you gotta pay attention. Like multitasking, multitasking, despite all the widgets in this game, is still really important. There's no excuse not to do it. So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good night.